okay. The entire forest is gone. Everything is flattened. That's a hurricane.
Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a wet, windy, and rainy overnighter with a hammock system. So Boomer and I are out on this wet and windy ride. He has a new sweater that he's been sporting like crazy at home. I cannot get him out of this. He actually loves it. Even though he looks less than impressed, I promise you, he loves it. He is a very small dog and he gets cold easily. So we got him a frog sweater. So essentially, he is now a frog dog. He loves it. So, Boomer is trying to dry out, sitting over here on the pad, and uh, I am enjoying a hot cup of coffee. And the mosquitoes are out like crazy right now. So the temperatures are supposed to dip down a little later on this evening. There is supposed to be a massive storm rolling in, so we'll see what happens late tonight and tomorrow. So hopefully we get some gnarly wind and some heavy rain. I've got the hammock positioned in such a manner that the back end is facing towards the ocean. And I've got the tarp pitched down more on a steeper angle and I'm facing into the forest. Now, in high winds, I would never suggest going into the forest where there are large trees or hammock camping, which is why I specifically chose this location. All the trees are really small. They're not gigantic trees. So if they do fall, it's gonna hurt, but I'm likely gonna be able to crawl or walk out of the forest. I wouldn't recommend doing this in a towering forest with 100 foot tall trees. So I am on the edge of the ocean, right in the action. I wanna see massive waves. 
and I want heavy wind and heavy rain on this adventure. So that's why we're here. I'm gonna sip on my coffee, relax for a little bit. Setting this up was a little bit of time, so I like to take a few moments, relax, have Boomer dry out for a little bit, and then take the day from there, guys. So cheers, coffee break. So today we got off to a little bit of a late start. It is rolling into the evening, believe it or not. I know it looks a little light out right now, but with the clouds in the sky, it's been this light all day. And it is almost 5 p.m. So we only have about two and a half hours of usable daylight left. Boomer's inside of the hammock right now, up off the ground, getting nice and warm. He's gonna take a little bit of a nap, most likely. He looks like he's getting used to the motion of the, the hammock rocking around, so. I'm actually going to get started on supper and what I brought with me was just really simple ramen, some seafood mix, some uh, spinach, green onion, I can't even remember the rest. I just packed everything really quick on this trip. I wanted to get out here in the rain and the wind so green onion, spinach, ramen and some crab meat, artificial crab meat of course because I don't have a refrigerator. So I'm going to get that stuff prepped up on my cutting board, boil up some water and have some hot ramen, get Boomer a treat, and relax in this evening rain, which is going to be awesome. Patiently awaiting this windstorm to creep up on us. So I wanna get this done out of the way, and then I don't have to worry about anything blowing away later on in the evening. So let's get cooking.
Alright guys, we're back from our hike and absolutely, totally drenched all the way through. Socks, boxers, pants, shirt, you name it, absolutely drenched. So I had my clothing inside of my backpack, way down in the bottom, wrapped up in a plastic bag. I've got it situated in my dry bag right now for a little bit more durability. I'm going to have to get out of my rain jacket and get undressed, butt naked, right out here before I can get inside. So obviously going to shut the camera off for that and uh, I'll basically meet you guys inside the hammock. I am starting to shiver and shake, definitely getting colder out. So I'm going to do that rather quickly, get Boomer up here. I've got his towel here and his sweater is in there as well. So I'm going to dry him off, get in there and hopefully get warm and get nice and cozy as well. So I'll see you guys inside the hammock. Alright guys, we're inside the hammock right now. Boomer's got his sweater on. <laughs> He's starting to warm up a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a really rocky night, so it's supposed to be very, very windy. And I chose this hammock specifically because I can lay totally flat in it. And I can also sit it up like a chair. So knowing that it was going to be rainy and really windy, I didn't bring a chair because I brought this hammock. And I didn't bring a tent because I didn't know where I was going to be camping and honestly to set a tent up in really really high winds is a little bit more difficult than to just hang in a hammock. So with this system I can actually turn it into a chair which I'm going to do right now and I'm going to sit up and enjoy a bit of the scenery. Pull these straps in here and get it in nice chair mode. And this is really nice in the winter time as well. Oh yeah. Sit right up here. Yank these guys in without knocking you guys over. All right, now we got a chair in the woods. Pretty awesome, super comfortable. And the really cool thing about this is when I'm stuck in the hammock in heavy rain like this or in a snowstorm, I can actually pull this bug net down and it stops the snow from blowing in. I can actually sit here in chair mode just like this with a cutting board on my lap and bring my canister stove in here and actually cook and make coffee without ever having to get outside of the hammock, which is really nice. So I'll bring you guys inside for a little bit of a tour to show you guys how I have this configured right now, where I've got all my gear, my snacks and all that kind of stuff. And I think we're gonna start enjoying the evening with all this rain. Boomer has snuggled up and he's ready to go to sleep. It's a lot darker than what it looks right now. I've got the ISO on the camera cranked. I've also got this light on. So it is actually getting dark really quickly. So I'm gonna try and utilize a lot of this light for filming uh, as we have it available right now. So I'll bring you guys inside, show you what we're looking at. All right, so coming inside of the hammock, it's pretty basic in here. I don't have a whole lot of junk in here, a whole lot of gear, but I do have a couple things stored. So I've got my dry clothing bag up here, which is full of some of my wet clothing. This is gonna be utilized as my pillow later on this evening. I'm just gonna keep it jammed up there for now, kind of out of the way. This camera that I'm holding is going to go into this little bottle holder later on, so it'll stay nice and dry. I'm not gonna lay on it. I have the down sleeping bag draped over just as a blanket right now. As you guys can see, Boomer is going to sleep rather quickly. And basically all the other gear that I have in here is some wet clothing. Uh, I've got my knife up on the ridge line. I've got my light up on the ridge line as well. And my wet clothing on the opposite side, right down here. So pretty basic in here. This is actually gonna be really, really relaxing. I can feel the wind starting to pick up. 
the rain is picking up as well and i'm just going to lounge back here in chair mode guys the mosquitoes are still out here though so i'm going to zip this bug net totally shut and start relaxing so give you guys a little look inside of the hammock give you guys a front view of what i can see as well and i'm going to basically start relaxing and i'll catch up with you guys first thing in the morning for coffee peace out guys see you in the morning Alright guys, the storm is definitely picking up, holy jumping. I feel like I am in a absolute cyclone. Boomer is getting quite a bit worried, he's <laughs> getting super nervous here. Um, the winds are extremely strong right now. There are a couple trees that just fell, probably about 50 yards from the hammock. Big old loud snaps and booms. Uh, the hammock is rocking like crazy. The tarp, you guys can make this out, is pushed right in on my face on the back side. Have a look at the foot end down here. Things are definitely getting windy and rocky. The hammock is up and down all over the place. Um, <laughs> I hope I hope the trees I'm hanging on don't snap because I don't have to set the hammock up again somewhere else. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a rough ride tonight, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be sleeping anymore. Who knows, I might maybe get an hour, but these winds are expected to get way, way, way worse overnight. I should probably mention that this is a hurricane. So this is Hurricane Fiona pushing through Cape Breton Island. I didn't want to mention it earlier because I wasn't too sure if it was actually going to hit. <laughs> it, it's supposed to be a direct hit. So now that everyone's aware of the situation, um, I'm going to ride out the storm right here in my hammock, only about 20 to 30 yards away from the ocean, <laughs> right in hurricane path. So hopefully everything goes well and uh, yeah. I'm gonna ride this storm out and hopefully have some nice hot coffee in the morning and some monster waves out there as well. So, let me see if we try and close our eyes for a bit, Boomer. It's gonna be a little tricky, but uh, yeah, hopefully we make out okay tonight, guys. Alright guys, it is the middle of the night. I'm walking away from the hammock right now. I'm gonna go take a look at the ocean. The winds are incredibly strong right now. I'm in my bare feet and the rain seems like it's let up a little bit. So I'm gonna watch the ground and hopefully I don't step on anything sharp. You guys can make out the hammock there in the background. Boomers inside of it. I'm gonna make my way over towards this cliff edge, have a look at the ocean and then boogie back to the hammock.
Okay. Now this is a wild ride. Holy smokes. Definitely 150 kilometer hour winds right now. I got to tell you. I have a very, very, very big surprise to show you guys once the daylight fully gets lit. It is still dark out, but man, a tree literally just fell about three feet away from my hammock. I'm not even joking. So I actually have a little bit of a wind block when I get out. There are about five trees that just came crashing down. One behind me, I believe one in front of me and two beside me and another one off in the distance. I can't even think right now, it's so loud. Uh, I haven't slept at all. This is like being on a fishing boat in this hammock. It is totally soaked, my back is wet, it finally gave way. The tarp on the backside is not guying out anymore. It's just flopping all over the place. I don't know what's going on until I get out and look. It's gonna be really soon. I'm just waiting for the daylight to get up there so I can work the camera outside. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do coffee out there. I'm gonna try my best to boil up water, but I just stuck the camera out there in my headlamp and totally saw that tree falling down right next to my feet. So, probably another 20, 30 minutes and then I'm gonna jump out. The entire forest is gone. Everything is flattened. Hurricane is definitely here, full force, guys. All I can taste is salt water. The entire area is decimated. Holy. It's a hurricane.
All right, I gotta get the chainsaw out, some toe straps. Cut that tree out of the way. There's two trees that gotta be cut, so let's do this quick. How you doing, Boomer? You ready to go home? All right, well, that was certainly interesting, I must say. Bunch of trees in the road. Thank goodness I at least have a chainsaw in the truck with me. Otherwise, that could have been a problem. Those trees are way too big to pull out of there, and they're still in the ground. They just flew over from the wind, basically. And it looks like we got some more up here on the road. I'm just coming up to the pavement and yeah, there's definitely one on the road, on the actual pavement, but I think I can get around it. I'm gonna try and get around it. If not, I'm gonna have to carefully cut it out of the way. Looks like I can get around. So I'm just driving down the main road right now and my back window smashed out. Something hit it overnight. Those waves were absolutely ridiculously high. I've never seen waves that high in my life. My eyes are burning right now from all the salt water. My face is beet red from the spray. And uh, yeah, just standing there for about two minutes getting footage, my face is beat all to heck. So I'm gonna pay attention to this road Unfortunately, it parallels the ocean, so I'm at a really high risk of rolling over right now with the lifted truck and a lot of the side wind. So I'm gonna try and scoop down this road safely and quickly and get to a different road where I'm a different direction. And that way the wind will just push me down the road. And I gotta watch out for trees because there's all kinds of them on the road. Look at this. guys just made it to the second road and holy crap their telephone poles snapped in half their wires all over the road i had to drive over them i just barely cleared the last wire the telephone pole snapped midway up the spare tire on the roof just barely cleared i had to stop and make sure it wasn't going to touch uh, i do got to get out push my mirror back out because that's folded in right now 
I only have a smashed window, so I'm pretty happy with that to go through a hurricane. A massive hurricane direct hit on the ocean in a hammock. The only two trees that were left standing where the hammock was, literally, was the two trees that I was hanging to. So somebody, somebody was definitely looking over me that night. Holy smokes, guys. My eyes are on fire right now. My face feels like it just got hit with a sandblaster. All the salt, my mouth just tastes of salt water. Uh, Boomer's here. He's totally fine. He's just sitting there shivering and shaking. He's soaked. Uh, I just got off the phone with my wife, Kendra. She said that last night, I, before I came out yesterday, she said last night a tree fell right where I moved the truck yesterday. So when I left the house, I moved my other truck out of the way because I was like, I don't trust that tree. I just got off the phone with her. And she said last night the tree went down and thank God I moved the truck. And there's a, there's a tree on her van right now. So... Woo! I gotta say, two thumbs up on that overnighter. Definitely don't recommend doing it at all. Uh, I've been doing this all my life and it's not what I do, it's who I am. I could not sit at home and watch that storm pass by, unfortunately. So, yes, we made it out. One piece minus one back window, which is built in air conditioning at this point. So that's kind of nice. And uh, we'll, we'll get that fixed up and worry about that another day we made it out alive and that's all that matters so peace out guys leave your questions and comments down in the comment section and i will catch you in the next video